What's up everyone, Nick Strip Bricks here with a special collection video for everyone today. I have every single Lego helmet ever made with every single corresponding minifigure to go with the helmet. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, this video, and make this display. And there's been one uh, minifigure, Captain Rex, I'm looking at you, that I've been waiting for to come out for me to own since I have every single figure except for him. And uh, I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time. Finally, Captain Rex is made available. And now I have every minifigure corresponding with every helmet. Now, I didn't include um, the set, the sets like the Infinity Gauntlet, Wolverine, Claws. I just wanted to do helmets. Now, if you guys really like this video and you, you thought it was cool, I, I have no problem with amending it and, you know, doing it again with the rest of the displays or doing a separate video, you know, let me know in the comments below. But this is every single helmet with the minifigure that goes with it. And we're gonna start right here with Batman. Now, I'm gonna just get Marvel and DC out of the way because, you know, everyone wants to see Star Wars and clearly they have the most helmets. But these Batman, two of them, these helmets are pretty, pretty awesome. I have here the uh, Batman minifigure my favorite from the Batman movie, Will Arnett. Uh, this is a pretty cool helmet, cowl, whatever you want to call it. I do like how they put this piece right here, how it's like it's like a, a spaceship like hatch, like roof. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I'll show you in the next set why I like that. It looks very complete and, you know, I, I, I like the way they did this set. This is the first uh, for Batman in DC. And then the next one we have here is the classic Batman. Now, as I said <clears throat> from before, this one isn't as complete looking as the uh, original one. This kind of just like hovers and sits on top. I don't know if, uh, if you own this set or not, but that, that's kind of a, a factor for me because when you go to pick it up, there's a chance you could drop it, but I still like it. We have here Adam West as Batman. And uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty cool one. Obviously, if you're a Batman fan and you know you don't want all the helmets, you gotta get this one and the uh, first one that I showed, but I, I do like it. It's pretty straightforward. I, li I like the stand, it's very cool looking. But uh, yeah, this is Batman Classic TV Series. And now <clears throat> we go on to Marvel. We have the Iron Man helmet. This is the Iron Man figure that I chose. I thought it was uh, pretty well represented in the build here. Put that up there. And then, uh, yeah, I obviously I like all the gold. I, the sticker pieces here was a bit of a bummer, but yeah, this isn't a sticker piece. Regardless, it's it's a pretty awesome. Uh, set. I do like it. I'm um, looking at the back here. And I'm wondering if... I think those are extra pieces that I might have just tossed on there. But I don't think they go there. I, I like the way they did the helmet and the mouthpiece. And the eyes, even though they are stickers, they do look cool. But uh, yeah, that's the Iron Man helmet. And now we have... Star Lord, the uh, what was dubbed the most expensive pencil holder possible. Now, let me see if I can find the minifigure for Star Lord in here. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, this is Star Lord, but he, he doesn't have his helmet on, so that's kind of pointless. All right, here we go. Wait a minute, this isn't Star Lord, this is Owen. All right. Here we go. Wait a minute. What the hell's going on here? This is Emmett. What is it? Hang on. 
All right, got it. This is the uh, minifigure, Star-Lord. That's his helmet, pops on there like that. Hair comes off the top, boom. Star-Lord minifigure to go with the helmet. I thought this was a really cool set. This is, uh, I believe this is the set with the price hike. It was a pretty expensive, but as you can see, this is not a sticker piece and these aren't sticker pieces. These are pretty awesome pieces. And then, you know, when, if and when this set retires, if it isn't already retired, I feel like this is gonna be a very sought after uh, set. I do like the front here. I like the way they did these, you know, these pieces for the mask and uh, the telephone pieces and the side. I, this is a really cool helmet. It's like one of my favorites for sure. But, uh, let's put him there. I don't know what those other guys were doing in there. Now we go, we move on to <clears throat> Marvel Spider-Man. So I went with classic Spider-Man looking guy here, arm printing. And yeah, it's, it's, it's Spider-Man. I, I like the way the eyes look really bold with the black outline. Uh, it's tiny, it's small compared to everything else, the other helmets, but I mean, it gets the job done. I, I'm a hit fan of it. I don't, there's sticker pieces, which is what it is, what it is, but most of them are printed. So uh, that's Spider-Man right there. And now we're going to move on to one of my two favorite helmets. This right here is the Venom helmet. Now I went with this Venom right here. Uh, not my, I don't know if this is my favorite version of Venom, but this is the uh, version of Venom that I went with. So that's the minifigure. I do like the other one. There's a couple of different versions of him, but the the helmet, it's like, come on, man. The, the inside of the mouth dripping like goo and it coming down his chin is just unbelievable. I That's like my favorite part of the whole build. There's a lot of really cool like parts of it sorry about all the dust um but the teeth i think it looks great with the gums uh then you got the red in there with this this tongue it, it's just you can like you can make this articulate any way you want uh it's just so menacing i i love it it's it's evil uh i've seen people do different you know colors and stuff with it i like it the way it is it's gotta be my favorite helmet if not my second favorite helmet and second to only one my other favorite is the carnage helmet so this is the uh this is the carnage i went with uh, pretty well represented in this helmet i think um again i love the <clears throat> The teeth that they went with black instead of white, um, and the the whole like kind of like dark decaying like you know around his mouth and uh, like that evil like goo like red and black like a uh, symbiote goo and I, the gums inside look really cool how it looks like a mouth in the back. Uh, the stickers are a bit annoying, but again, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, Pretty much all stickers actually i think this is uh definitely one of my favorites i have this set and the venom set in my kind of uh <clears throat> venom carnage display and when i do my room tour you'll be able to see that now to move on to star wars we have our first and it's boba fett this is the the Boba Fett minifigure I went with. Um, yeah, that's Boba Fett right there. And I do like the... I like this design right here. I like the way the pieces are. Um, it's a pretty cool helmet. I, I like the, the antenna piece. It's pretty awesome. The way it, like... I just like that way that's built. And uh, this is the Boba Fett helmet. So now we move on to the Mandalorian helmet. This is the Mandalorian that I went with, the figure. And just like the Boba Fett, he's a Mandalorian. Uh, I do like the chrome silver pieces. 
is very uh, shiny and it's the Mandalorian helmet. Uh, what else can I say? It's fantastic. Now we get, move on to the Dark Trooper helmet. Um, this one was cool. I have the Dark Trooper minifigure from that set with three of them. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of the, the middle part's weird because it comes, it, it attaches right here a little, it, which is a little weird. I, I do like the detail underneath and all, and the helmet itself is pretty cool with the stickers and the eyes, but uh, not one of my favorites, but a cool helmet. And then we go move on to the man himself, Darth Vader. Now, this is out of the many minifigures I could have went with. I obviously went with one that has a helmet, and that's the one I went with. Darth Vader right there. Uh, I love this helmet. I don't know if a lot of people did. It caught some flack. I thought it was pretty cool. I like the way these antennas come to the front right like this. And it's got these these cool like metal pieces. I always thought that was so like like soulless and raw and disturbing that he had like these like weird metal pieces. And uh, the helmet looks like his helmet. I like the way it frays out. And uh, it doesn't, I don't know if it moves like that in the movie, but yeah, it's a, it's a soulless look in his eyes. And to be one of the most feared people in the galaxy, I think it's a pretty cool set. And now we're going to move on to Luke Skywalker, Red 5. Now, this is the minifigure that I went with here. This is Luke Skywalker. He's got his lightsaber, even though he's in a, he's flying a X-Wing, I guess, or a Y-Wing or X-Wing. This is a pretty cool set. I saw a lot of people talk about how it's hollow in the middle. They didn't really like that. I thought it was okay. I, I do like these pieces on the side. The stickers are pretty cool. Um, these pieces are obviously printed and awesome. I like the, the glasses look to it and like the, uh, Kind of microphone and chin strap i do like it i like i like this really saved it for me if these weren't here i mean it would look kind of weird but I, I like the way they designed this i thought it was pretty cool i thought it was interesting now we move on to the leia gusbouge helmet now princess leia bush i have the corresponding figure with the um, the helmet, as you can see, Princess Leia is holding a bomb in her hand, which she uses she uses to blow up or uh, to threaten Jabba the Hutt in the movie. Um, but yeah, this is this is Princess Leia, Boosh figure, and the Boosh helmet. I really like. As soon as I saw it, I thought it was such a refreshing, cool idea. I like how they have this green part right here. The mouthpiece looks cool. It, it doesn't, it looks like such a, a cool, like, Star Wars uh, character. Um, I'm a fan of it. I would like to pick one up if I can find one on sale for investing, because I think that's going to be a, a good one. And now to move on to the man himself, the guy who was holding up this video for quite some time, Captain Rex. Guess what? This is the Captain Rex that was $12.99 in the microfighter. And finally, I own him. He is sitting on top of the helmet. I like the helmet. The helmet is pretty cool. The, obviously, the dashes of the people he took out, I guess, or killed or whatever. And um, I like this kind of, like, you know, lightning-looking piece, like, electric-looking piece. The, the way I, I love the way that it's just so, like... It looks so cool how they layered this like this, and it's very symmetrical. Um, and the headpiece, it's, well, you know, what can I say? This is pretty deep into the the um, helmet, so they, they knew what they were doing at this point. And now we're going to move on to Commander Cody. Now, the minifigure that I have represented here is the Phase 2 Commander Cody, okay? Because it's from a newer set. I also think... I believe that this is the Phase 1 Commander Cody helmet right here. I might be wrong, but 
please comment and let me know if I have that. Maybe I should just put it on there right now. What do you think? Is that Commander Cody phase phase one helmet? But uh, yeah, this is the minifigure. Um, I love this. I love this helmet. I, I love the uh, how it has these like kind of like pieces on top and on the side. It just it brings so much character to it. Um, just like the Rex, it, I love the front and the way everything kind of like goes around in the headpiece. It's it's a pretty awesome helmet. And we are moving on to the Stormtrooper. Now, not the most flashiest and best helmet, but definitely a, a sought-after one. This is the Stormtrooper that I went with. Many Stormtroopers to pick from. This is the one I thought was represented best in this helmet. And uh, again, I love the way that the, the mask comes together like this. I love the side pieces and the front. I like I like these pieces right here and, the, you know, the air, I guess, vents right here. And uh, it's the it's a snow trooper. I'm sorry, storm trooper. I got this the snow part mixed up. There is no no trooper. Well, there is, but that was a storm trooper. This is the scout trooper. This is the minifigure that I uh, thought was represented in this uh, build, and it looks pretty pretty accurate to me. Um, I like this helmet a lot. I like it a little better than the Stormtrooper one because it just it has a, lot, a little bit more character to it. It's got the same kind of look, but it's got this like cool like visor piece and like the head piece and the front, you know, vent. And uh, that is the Scout Trooper. Now for last but not least, we have this set that is probably the most talked about, sought after set it is the tie fighter pilot now this is the older version i just wanted to show the older version and this is the newer version i really like this figure i love the detail on it um i'm not even going to start to get into how much these pieces cost i heard they're 75 a piece so 100 to 150 dollars sitting right there um I know it's really expensive. I know it was in the, on the market that long, but I got to tell you, this just really is just, it's so cool. I think it is the coolest one out of all of them. I know it's the most expensive and hardest to find, but I love how like with those other helmets, how it has these pieces that go up like this and where it comes up and then it has these tubes that go around. It's just, it, it looks so like sleek and sharp looking and, the rest of the helmet's pretty cool, the side and all, but I mean, like this middle piece, these eyes, the, the bend, it just looks so menacing and dark. And obviously these pieces are cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much every single helmet ever made. So I hope you enjoyed.